I got it. <laughs> hey, thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. No problem. Hope everything turns out okay. Just as I suspected, you have a leak in the radiator. A leak? What's that mean? It means this car's not going very far. I'm gonna have to tow to my shop. I'm gonna have to replace this radiator. Okay. Just do whatever you have to do to get it fixed. God, I'm so late. Hey, uh, you think you can give me a ride? Yeah, no problem. Come on. I gotta go. Hey, thanks again for the ride. Yeah, no problem. See you soon. You believe this? What happened? Where is everybody? A water pipe burst in the ceiling. They evacuated everyone. Sorry to interrupt, gentlemen. I need a word with you, Steve. Excuse us. Cool. What's going on, Murray? I'm going to be blunt with you, Steve. I think we've had a major breach of security. Breach? Now, what we know is this. Water pipe burst in the ceiling. Flooded the entire building. Normally, I'd say that's a bit of bad luck. No cause for concern. But what drew my attention, and may be cause for concern, is that the leak was directly above your office. You've been working on some very sensitive and confidential materials. Fire department security inspectors they all believe it was sabotage. What, sabotage? Can you think of anyone in the office? Maybe an enemy? No, none that I'm aware of. No one's been asking about your project, trying to get information. Uh, no one even knows what I'm working on. Is it supposed to rain today? Not a cloud in the sky, pal. You all right? Yeah, I just thought I felt Never mind. Look, in the last six months that I've been working on this project, no one's asked me a thing. Where's Cullen? I have no idea. Look at me, Steve. Focus. Look at me. Now, I don't know about this random accident stuff. Somebody wants the information you've been working on. They want it, or they want it destroyed. You're going to have to be very, very careful, especially wary of strangers and friends until we determine if this was an accident or not. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Good. I gotta get back inside, assess the damages. Plan on being at work tomorrow, unless I call you otherwise. Yes, sir. Thought he'd never leave. Jeez, how long have you been standing there? I just walked up. Need a ride? You know, I, th I think I'll get a cab. Nonsense, come on, I have a car. I'm parked 50 feet away. Let me give you a ride. Come on, are you hungry? Let's go grab some lunch. We're not getting back in that office today, so come on, let's go hit a bar. <laughs> it's not even noon. Yeah, it's five o'clock somewhere. Jay's already waiting for us. We can grab lunch in between rounds. You can ride with me. Where's your car, by the way? Broke down on the way here. I had to catch a ride as a radiator leak. I wouldn't sweat it just yet. Let's go. Uh, I think I'm drunk. That's the booze talking. You have a lot more left in you. So, Steve, are you going to tell us about that project you've been working on or what? Seems to be pretty hush hush in your department. Yeah, you 
You've been tucked away in your office for quite a while now. I haven't seen you anymore. That's the top secret project is the brass had been working on day and night. It's just a little side project. The higher ups asked me to work on it. I can't talk about it. Andrew won't talk about it. There's a big difference. A little of both, to be honest with you. <laughs> Well, honesty is the best policy. Yeah. And it can only help you. Come on, you know we aren't gonna say anything. You're among friends. Look, guys, your friendship's notwithstanding. Even you, Jay. I can't talk about it. But I'll tell y'all what I will do. I will get the next round of drinks on me. Nice deflection. Huh. You know we're gonna get it out of you at some point. One way or the other. I'm assuming y'all want the same thing. Yeah. Give me a beer and a shot. Something expensive. Especially since you're buying. If you ladies will excuse me. I gotta go take a look. Hey, thanks for the ride, man. What's up, my friend? Hey, you know, you never told me about that project you're working on. <laughs> nice try, Colin. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, a lot sooner than you think. What's that supposed to mean? And what is with your seatbelt, man? It's got to be trapped in here. It means I'm picking you up in the morning. Your car's still in the shop, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I think I may have been a little overserved. <laughs> All right, tomorrow morning, that'll work. I'll see you then. Good luck with that leak. Problems? You. been under almost three hours. What have we learned? <clears throat> Nothing. Yet. He hasn't talked other than a few mumbling cries for help. And he's starting to hallucinate, and I believe he's about ready to break and start talking. Good. 
Give him another hour. That should be enough time to extract the information we need before he checks out mentally. And after? Regulate the water to a cold, steady drip. And leave him. We're miles from anywhere. It'll be days before anybody finds him. By then, his mind will be gone. He won't be able to process anything. There's no blood on our hands. And he'll be useless to everyone. Yes, sir. problem has been eliminated. Good. Leave us. <laughs> 